In the summer of 1983, my dad embarked on a 14-day journey to keep the wild Franklin River flowing free to the sea. The plan to dam the Franklin has caused bitter and divisive protests. It was the biggest environmental rally in the country's history. We knew we had Aboriginal heritage down there. There's evidence of our people for millennia. We've made up our mind and we're going to get on with the job. I guess I'm trying to follow Dad's ghost a little bit, keep a bit of him alive. I'm not sure if I'm ready. People have died on this trip. There was a lot of tension. Part of the population wanted to build the dam, which was employment. The survival's the fittest so far as I'm concerned. Car went by with guns out and they shot him. I knew quite likely I could be killed. I think there'd be murder in the dam tonight. When that first bulldozer arrived, things suddenly got very, very serious. We went to fight against enormous resources. We'll probably all be putting ourselves in fairly high-risk situations. Suddenly, this monstrous machine came and just started murdering the forest. Hey, wait, we're about to destroy something sacred, something important for all of humanity. It was desperate days. The drizzle has set in, every step a little more dangerous. Am I here just to prove I don't need you? I have to remind myself to take in the beauty of a place which moves so many to action. If we destroy it now for the sake of 15 years of power, well, we've destroyed it for thousands of years. And if you look at the man, it shouldn't proceed on either the grounds of environment or of economics. There's a part of me that's afraid, that wants to stay up here where it's safe and dry. Come on, my boy, one foot in front of the other. But as you always said, there's no turning back on the Franklin. Only one way home.